Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a memory spread again and for this week I have a really pretty foiled kit from Sticky Fingers Co. I picked this up a few months ago and I thought it would be perfect for the transition from April to May. I don't know why, I just feel like this color scheme and um, this artwork just reminded me of like kind of this transition. And the kit is foiled in a light champagne gold. I don't know if you can really see it. I don't think it picks up on camera quite as well, but in real life it's really, really pretty. So here we have nine full boxes and this little quote box here says grow laughter. And on this page we have the bottom washi, which is two different strips. The top one has like foiled bows and then we've got some washi strips and some little things. On this page, we have the date covers, which are also foiled. We have the weekend banner, um, which has foiled bows on the side. We've got two flags, some circle icons, some heart checklists, some text stickers, and then um, these two flags are also foiled at the bottom. And then we've got two quarter boxes in the middle. And the last page here, oh my gosh, so all of her pages are foiled actually. Um, but here we've got all the functional boxes. We have the Monday through Sunday box. We have some headers and then two of these bow checklists at the bottom. And again, I just wanna show you guys do a quick little viv wiggle of the foiling because it's so pretty in this kit. So yeah, these are the four pages that came in the mini kit, which is the version that I picked up. And um, I'm super excited to use this kit. This kit is on glossy and I think I'm going to still use my Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in 0 0.7. I think it works just fine on glossy paper. And really quick, I am going to make this a leftovers um, giveaway uh, because I do have quite a stash of leftover stickers that I'd love to um, give away to anybody who is interested. So make sure you leave a comment down below just saying giveaway or um, you know giveaway entry or something so that I know that you want to enter the giveaway and then I will probably pick um, a winner within a week of the time that I upload this video. So more details will be in the description box below. Make sure you check there for any um, information and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by placing down the bottom washi. For some reason, I decided to place down the bottom strip of the bottom washi first, which I typically don't do. And then, um, of course, the spacing was a little off, so I decided to remove it. And I forgot how difficult it is to remove glossy paper once you put it down. I do have undo, um, but for some reason, I just like really don't like using it. I don't know if it's just like because um, it takes a while to dry or something, but I like try to avoid it at all costs. So I just really carefully um, remove that washi, and then I put down the foiled bow one on top first before replacing the bottom strip. I do the same thing on the other side and then I move to my sidebar. And first I put down the quote box in the top corner and then I move to putting down all of the date covers. Um, the date covers are so gorgeous and foiled this week, but I did forget to put down some date dots. So I actually do that at the very, very end off camera um, before I show you guys the full spread. Um, but anyways, then I use some flags to cover up the flags of the Erin Condren planner. And those ones are also so pretty and foiled. And then moving back to my sidebar, I use this strip of Simply Gilded Washi, which is the white one with the champagne gold foiled bows and I just thought that matched the champagne gold in this kit so well. I used a habit tracker to track working out and then I put down a little things with a heart icon from Clever Gal Crafts to mark my happy moments of the week. I used a bow checklist from the kit, which only has six bows, but when that happens, I usually just condense my weekend happy moments into one item. And then at the bottom, I put down another little things with the Monday through Sunday tracker, um, but I realized I didn't have enough space for it, so I go ahead and um, shift everything up just a little bit. Again, the glossy sticker was really hard to peel up, but I just had to be really careful, and then I was able to fit that box at the bottom. Once I'm done with that, I move to Monday, and first start by putting down a Today header at the top. Um, I put down a coffee sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and I tried to write coffee, but my pen wasn't working really well. Instead of the 0 0.7, I decided to go with the 0 0.5 this week because it's a little thinner and a little bit more like elegant. But then I remembered that my 0 0.5 pens always skip for some reason and it's like really hard to use when you're switching the paper material that you're writing on. Um, so I was having quite a bit of trouble with my pen this week. Um, anyways, I decided to put down a quarter box underneath that to make it work work and then I pulled in this little arrow sticker from the kit with a utensil sticker from Lemon Paper Co. to mark that I got some Thai food for lunch. 
I used a gold foiled asterisk sticker from the kit to mark that I had to go pick something up at another school. Um, it was a test kit that I really needed to use. And then um, I put down a full box underneath that and it has just a little bit of foiling at the bottom. And I think that's so pretty, like that little accent. And after work that day, I had an appointment with um, some painters that are gonna be painting our house. And so I put that on a little things. And then that night I decided to film my highly requested hand lettering video. I know it's been a month and a half and I still haven't uploaded loaded it yet, but um, I think I'm just feeling a little unsure about it. I feel like it's something that, you know, a lot of people have really wanted to see, and so I kind of feel like an extra layer of anxiety about it, and I'm just not sure I really like how it came out, but I think I'm still going to upload it just because it took so much to film it. Um, so anyways, hopefully that will be on my channel sooner than later, and that gold foiled film sticker is from Magic Prints Co., and then at the bottom, I used a three heart checklist, and the tiny grocery icon is is from Sunset Sticker Co. On Tuesday, I started by placing down a full box at the bottom before I moved back to the top of the day. And first I started by putting down this quarter box that was from my leftovers collection. And I pulled in this working mochi from Mochi Kiji to mark that I had a really busy day on Tuesday. I think it was just one of those nonstop go, go, go kind of days. And then I used a half box with a little flag from Echo Hui Craft Co. to mark a meeting that I had um, that afternoon. And those are so cute with a little bow in the corner. I just wrote an IEP myself so that I knew it was an IEP meeting and then underneath that I had another IEP later that day and so I pulled in an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs. After work, I had to stop by a tire place to get my tires filled because they were low on air. So I used a little things and that gold foiled exclamation mark is from Planning World. And that day when I got home, I was just like so hungry and I just ended up binge eating everything for dinner. So I put down this I ate too much munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. And then I wrote binge eat on the quarter box with my Pilot brush lettering pen, but I didn't really like the way that it turned out. I think because I wasn't um, you know, used to like the glossy paper feel. And so as you can see, like the B is just really, really bold. So I ended up switching that out. I put down a me time sticker from shop Jessica hearts instead. And then I rewrote binge eat, which I still wasn't super happy with, but I think it was better than it was before. So I just left it. And then after that, I put down a gold foil TV sticker from magic Prince co and this nail polish sticker from hello petite paper. But I use that to mark that I did my nails. And then we watched a show called street food on Netflix, which I really, really enjoyed. And I didn't like how I wrote nails just because I I felt like it was really crowded looking. So I ended up whiting that out. And then I just wrote nails in regular writing um, on a small strip of like white sticker paper that was part of the kit and then just replaced it right on top. Moving to Wednesday, I first started by pulling in a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi, and then I used this really pretty flag sticker from the kit, and I just wrote Hello May on top of that because Wednesday was the first day of May, and then after that, I put down a full box um, right underneath, and that day, I did have three IEP meetings back to back, so it was a super busy day. I cut out a strip of washi from like a previous kit that I used, and that gold foiled meeting sticker is from Hazel Sticker, and then I found this uh, three heart checklist in my leftover stash, so I put that down to mark my three meetings. I then did a workout when I got home, so I used an arrow sticker from the kit with a dumbbell sticker from Planning World. And then at the bottom, I wanted to mark that we watched um, the show Street Food again, so I put that on a little things. And then in the remaining space, I pulled in a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that a friend had stopped by that day to drop off all my dresses that I let her borrow a few weeks ago. And so yeah, I got all my dresses back, so now I'm ready for the summer. And uh, moving to Thursday, first I put down the full box with the girl taking a bath, and I love that box. It's my favorite, which is why I decided to put it on Thursday. So it's like right in the middle of my spread. And moving back to the top, I used a today header with a disgruntled um, girl from Artbox stickers to mark that I had um, a really frustrating situation come up at work. And oh my gosh, I don't know what is wrong with me this day, but um, I was just having kind of a struggle morning, I guess, when I was planning. I wrote situation with an M at the end. And so I had to just like wipe that out. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Like, I've never spelled it like that before. Um, but anyways, I had a meeting that day, which I put on a quarter box with a paper clip bow from Sticky Fingers Co. And then I put down this pretty half box with the foiled bow um, to mark another meeting that I had that afternoon. I worked out again when I got home, so I used this shoe sticker from Paper and Milk, and then I pulled in this appointment label, which was part of my leftover stash, and put down this gold foil date night sticker from Randy.Plans to mark that we did our usual date night on Thursday, and um, I got home and just pretty much relaxed for the rest of the night, so I used a pillow sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. 
Moving to Friday, I first put down a full box at the top and then I used another arrow from the kit with a coffee sticker from Peanut Butter Tacos to mark that I got my Friday matcha latte, which is the drink that I've been obsessed with lately. And then I decided to start from the bottom because um, I had some things to mark and I didn't know how much space I would have to mark everything. So at the very bottom, I put down a gold foil TV from Magic Prince Co to mark that we watch street food again. And above that, I used a boba sticker from Plants with the Nest to mark that I got boba at at the end of the night. On Friday evening after work, my coworkers and I went and got happy hour, which was so much fun. So I put that on a half box and the happy hour text sticker and the beer sticker are both from paper and milk. I then put down a little things above that and um, now I could gauge like how much space I had left. So I put down another washi strip from a previous kit and um, that gold foiled meaning sticker again is from Hazel Sticker and I used another flag from Ekahui Craft Co to mark my IEP that afternoon. And then on the little things, I just noted that I had to stop by the tire place because there was something going on with my tires again. So I had to stop by real quick before going to happy hour. On the weekend, I first put down the weekend banner at the top and I love the banner, it's so cute. And on Saturday, originally I had put Lazy Morning on a um, quarter box with that Coffee Monsters Co emoji, but later on I do move it to Sunday because I didn't have enough space on Saturday to mark what I wanted. Um, on Saturday, I did laundry, finally. I had like a huge pile of it building up, so I used a laundry sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then put down those two full boxes on Saturday and Sunday because they go together really well and I had thought about separating them but they're just so pretty together so I decided to keep them next to each other and underneath that for Saturday I used another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and at the very bottom I pulled in this half box from my leftover stash to mark that um, we had some friends over for tequila and tacos night for like an early Cinco de Mayo celebration because Cinco de Mayo was on the following day but it's always hard for us to like do stuff on Sundays because you know we're trying to get ready for the the work week and so yeah we had them over on Saturday night instead and that turned out to be super fun and then above that in the remaining white space I put down a gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark that I went to the mall with one of my friends to help her pick out some furniture. Moving back to the top of Saturday, like I said, I moved the lazy morning sticker to Sunday instead because I also had a lazy morning on Sunday and I shifted that laundry sticker up to the top so that I had a little bit of space left to mark that we went and got some groceries at our favorite Japanese um, supermarket and that little grocery icon is from the Nay Designs, but that was from years ago, so I'm not sure if she still sells that. And um, then moving to Sunday, I wanted to mark that we went to get some pizza and beer for lunch on Sunday, so I put that on. On a quarter box with a beer sticker from Hazel sticker and this is when my pen was really starting to die and it was just like skipping all the time so I had my little um, post-it note that I was trying to like get the pen to work you kind of see it really briefly and at the bottom I put down a three heart checklist with a TV sticker from the kit to mark the shows that we watched that night and then moving into the top there was a little bit of space left over above the full box so I put down a little things with a shoe sticker from Panda Bird Designs to mark that we um, took a long walk it was like a two hour walk um, to go to the PO box so I can grab my happy mail and then to get boba as well and that gold foiled happy mail sticker is from Magic Prince Co. That is it for my week. So as usual, I go ahead and fill out my sidebar as the last thing that I do. And this week I tried something a little different by filling out by day versus by section. So I track like my working out, happy moments and dinners for Monday all at once and then Tuesday and Wednesday, etc. cetera, um, which I think I liked a little bit better. I don't know, I'm gonna try it again next week to see if I like doing that better. And I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left, which will be added to this leftover stickers giveaway. Um, and then I'm doing a quick vid wiggle to show you guys all the beautiful foil in this kit. I actually love champagne gold foiling. I think it's probably my favorite because um, it's just so pretty and so light. And yeah, so that is it for this week. Um, I just want to remind you guys that I am doing a leftovers giveaway. So be sure to leave a comment down below if you're interested in entering. And like I said, I'm going to leave it going up for about a week when I post this video and I will randomly select a winner and comment on your response to let you know that you won the giveaway. And um, yeah, then I will send you your little happy mail package. I have a ton of extras to include as part of the giveaway because I did a huge um, planner D stash the other day so I just have lots of stickers that I love to give away so anyways check the description box below for all that good stuff and yeah thank you so so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this this was fun to put together um, but I did have trouble with my pen so that kind of made it a little difficult um, but overall I love how it turned out it's so perfect for spring and yeah let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for your support as always and I'll talk to you guys next time bye